Black women face a significantly higher risk of suffering a miscarriage than white women for a range of reasons, according to a new study published in the medical journal The Lancet. Uh, the researchers looked at data from more than 4 million pregnancies across uh, seven countries, including the UK, where it's estimated that at least one in five women will lose a pregnancy at some point in their lifetime. The study also suggests that miscarriage leaves women from all ethnic backgrounds more vulnerable to long-term health problems. Our global health correspondent, Tulip Mazumda, has been talking to one woman about her experience. I remember seeing the positives on the pregnancy test for the first time and I just, I was just so happy that me and my husband were basically creating life together. Katie was 28 when she found out she was pregnant, but one day, out of the blue, she started bleeding heavily and she lost the pregnancy. I just felt, yeah, so low, so hopeless and literally just felt like my, my world had ended. Katie was advised to try again and did become pregnant within a few months, but once again, the pregnancy ended in miscarriage both were second trimester losses. It was like a, like a blanket of heaviness over my whole body, over my mind, like a, you know, like a dark cloud. Um, and yeah, I just couldn't see any hope for a long time. So these are the memory boxes that we received at the hospital, so I'm so grateful for. Katie says she feels much stronger now to be able to talk about her losses. But this study found that black women are 43% more likely than white women to have a miscarriage. We're not sure why miscarriage is more common in black women, um, but we think it's a combination of factors. We think it's uh, that black women are more susceptible to things like diabetes and hypertension, and those diseases must be well controlled. We also think there may be some social factors and that black women feel reluctant to seek medical help. The research also saw a greater risk of other health complications for women from all ethnic groups the more losses they experienced. The risk of suffering with depression was more than twice as likely after one miscarriage and four times as likely after two or more losses. And although the numbers were low, women were still at four times the risk of suicide after one loss. They were also more vulnerable to developing blood clots and heart problems. Experts are calling for a revolutionary change in miscarriage services so that couples can access specialist support after one loss instead of having to wait for at least three miscarriages, as is mostly the case in the UK at the moment. Whilst miscarriage can be a very distressing thing for a woman to go through, it's important to be aware that most women go on to have a perfectly healthy baby. This research brings together what needs to happen, and that is after one miscarriage, we can learn from that by identifying simple things such as a woman stopping smoking, achieving a healthy body weight, or identifying simple medical conditions that can be treated. What's this? What's this? Katie is now proud mum to two-year-old little Maximus after receiving specialist treatment. It's impossible to know for sure whether that's what led to the success of her third pregnancy, but she says she feels extremely fortunate. Tulip Mazumdar, BBC News.